Now we're going to go through a few more examples where we have to apply the chain rule. Let's start with an exercise where we simply differentiate a number of functions. We start with the function f of x defined by 3x cubed plus 4x plus 2, all this to the power of 5. So how is this formed? This is a function of the form u to the fifth, where u is 3x cubed plus 4x plus 2. In other words, this function u is plugged inside the power of 5 function. Let's call that g of x is x to the fifth. According to the chain rule, if we differentiate something of the form u to the fifth, we can differentiate as if, even if it's with respect to x, we can differentiate as if we were differentiating with respect to u. Then we would get 5u to the fourth. But then we have to multiply by the derivative of u as a function of x. In other words, we get that f prime of x is 5u to the fourth times u prime. If we replace u by its value, we get 5 multiplied by the function 3x cubed plus 4x plus 2 to the fourth, and then we multiply by the derivative of the function inside, so we obtain 9x squared plus 4. The second function we want to differentiate is x multiplied by cosine of x cubed. This is a product, so we're going to use the product rule, which we recall here at the bottom. Applying the product rule, we have two factors, First factor is x, second factor is cosine x cubed. So we obtain derivative of x multiplied by cosine x cubed and change, plus x multiplied by derivative of cosine x cubed. In the first term of the sum, derivative of x is just 1, so there's no problem there. So the only term that requires some thought to differentiate is cosine of x cubed. So this is formed this way you plug the function x cubed, the inside function, inside an out, outside function cosine. And x cubed is plugged inside the cosine. So this is a composite and therefore to differentiate that we need to use a chain rule. The chain rule tells us that to obtain this you differentiate the outside function, in this case we differentiate cosine, we obtain negative sine, Evaluate this function at the inside function, so at x cubed. So we obtain negative sine of x cubed. But then we have to multiply by the derivative of the function inside. Therefore, we multiply by the derivative of x cubed, so by 3x squared. So in the second um, term in the sum, we have x multiplied by negative sine of x cubed multiplied by 3x squared. So that's negative x multiplied by 3x squared, negative 3x cubed, multiplied by sine x cubed. So that's simplified this way. The third function that we would like to differentiate is defined by sine of x squared divided by x squared plus 1 to the fourth. It is a quotient of two functions, and therefore we're going to use the quotient rule that we recall here at the bottom. Simply formally applying the quotient rule, we get the derivative of the top, and the top here is sine of x squared, multiplied by the bottom and changed, x squared plus 1 to the fourth, minus derivative of the bottom, bottom is x squared plus 1 to the fourth, multiplied by the top, sine of x squared, unchanged, all this over the square of the bottom. What remains to be calculated here are the derivatives of top and bottom, so derivative of sine of x squared and derivative of x squared plus 1 to the fourth. Both are formed as composite. In the first case, we plug x squared inside the sine function. In the second case, we plug x squared plus 1 inside the power 4 function. So in both cases, we're going to have to use the chain rule. Let's start with the derivative of sine of x squared. We plug the inside function x squared into the outside function sine, we obtain the derivative of the outside function, which is sine. So derivative of sine is cosine, evaluated at the inside function. So we obtain cosine of x squared. But then we have to multiply by the derivative of the function inside. So in our case, it's the derivative of x squared. So we multiply by 2x. This is just the derivative of sine of x squared. So we multiply that by x squared plus 1 to the fourth. And then we're going to have to 
subtract the derivative of x squared plus 1 to the fourth. This is the inside function x squared plus 1 that is plugged inside the power of 4 function. In other words, g of x here is x to the fourth. Again, the chain rule tells us that to obtain this derivative, we differentiate the outside function, which in this case is just the power of 4 function, so we obtain 4x to the, uh, to the power of 3. Evaluate that at the inside function, so that gives us minus 4x squared plus 1 to the power of 3. But then we have to multiply by the derivative of the function inside, so we multiply by the derivative of x squared plus 1, which is 2x. And this is multiplied by sine of x squared. At the bottom, we have the square of x squared plus 1 to the fourth. In other words, x squared plus 1 to the eighth. Moving on to the fourth function, we want to differentiate square root of x times sine x. Here we plug the function x sine x inside the square root function. So the inside function is x sine x, the outside function is just a square root function. It's a composite, so we're going to use a chain rule, and we know that we have to start with the derivative of the outside function, which is a square root function, evaluated at the inside function. Derivative of square root is 1 over 2 square root. We evaluate that at x sine x, we obtain 1 over 2 square root of x sine x, but then we have to multiply by the derivative of the function inside, so just the derivative of x sine x. Now, this is a product of the function x with the function sine x, so we're going to use the product rule, which is recalled at the bottom, and we get derivative of the first factor, that's derivative of x, that's 1, multiplied by second factor unchanged, so we get 1 times sine x, that's just sine x, plus first factor unchanged, that, that's x, multiplied by derivative of the second factor, Derivative of sine x is cosine x, so we get plus x cosine x. Finally, we want to differentiate the function cosine of sine x plus tangent of 5x. We have a sum of two terms, and of course the derivative of the sum is the sum of the derivatives. And each one of these two terms is a composite. Let's look at the first one. We have the inside function sine x plugged inside the outside function cosine. We use the chain rule. We get the derivative of the outside function, so derivative of cosine, that's negative sine, that we evaluate at the inside function. So we get negative sine of sine x. Then we have to multiply by the derivative of the function inside. That's the derivative of sine x, so that's cosine x. Then we add the derivative of the second term, tangent of 5x. To form this, we plug 5x inside the tangent function. So we use again the chain rule. We get the derivative of the outside function, so derivative of tangent, that's secant squared, that we evaluate at the inside function at 5x. So we get secant squared of 5x. Then we have to multiply by the derivative of the function inside. In this case, the function inside is 5x, its derivative is just 5. So this is what we obtain. 